Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. It is Tuesday morning. It is my lunch break. I've never filmed during like the school hours before, but I'm feeling a little bit scandalous today, so... And today I'm going to be going over my TBR for the month of February. These are just some of the books. Um, of course, I have some audiobooks that I want to listen to, and I have a lot of stuff already planned, already discussed, and I'm very, very excited about this month. Like, already. I'm just so ecstatic. So we're just going to get into it. I think I have, like, maybe five or so, maybe six, like, physical books, and then I have a bunch of audiobooks, and it's going to be great. So make sure to leave a like on this video, subscribe down to my channel. I really appreciate all you guys' support. And let's just jump into it. First up, I want to talk about Alicia in Atlantis, The Forbidden Wall by Nathalie Lane. This book was sent to me by the author, and I just want to take a quick moment to say thank you because, like, I'd never gotten such a personal request for reviewing a book. Like, Nathalie Lane kind of, like, compared it to some of the books that I've enjoyed in the past, and she sent me this, like, long email about all the details of it and how I would like it and stuff, and, like, I don't know. I just, the way that she, like, marketed it to me, it was, like, so sweet, and I cannot wait to read this in the month of... Um, February, it's coming out March 3rd, so this is like an early copy, and I'll definitely be uploading like a review or like a reading vlog of this book along with another arc that I'm going to be talking about later before then so you guys can like get all my opinions and if you should buy Alicia Atlantis and the Forbidden Wall, but basically I think it's kind of like Keeper of Lost Cities, that's what she kind of told me, and I'm really excited to dive in. I don't want to know too many, so I'm not going to like look at the the summary or anything because I just want to be surprised when I go into it. Next up we have got Emergency Contact by Mary H.K. Choi. This book always gets blown out so I just want to quickly take a second to show you guys the cover of Emergency Contact. And this book is kind of like a cute romance story between uh, Sam and Penny. Sam is in this really bad place like he's in struggling with debts and like he's failing college and he just broke up with his ex but then his ex has some big news basically and then we are set with Penny who also is struggling in a way uh, she had like this kind of rocky relationship with her mom and uh, just like with her attitudes and behaviors and she's kind of struggling at writing and she's going to college. The two meet up in this coffee store. They don't really click until one time when there's this incident that they meet each other again. They swap numbers and they're each other's emergency contacts and so they're texting each other and they start kind of like delving into this relationship online and virtually. You know what? I'm not going to say anything about the book. I'm just going to say the summary because I have so many thoughts about this book. I could literally make a video. You know how, like, um, Ariba Cindy makes videos about, like, solid books, and then she, like, kind of, like, does all these funny reviews, like, I could do one about this. We're just gonna wait until I can talk about this book, but I have the thoughts. Next up, we have Legend by Mary Lou, and guys, no worries, I did put this on my TBR last month, but I actually did read it this month. I completely, okay, well, I have, like, about 30 minutes left in the audiobook now, but I'm not gonna say anything about it, I'm just gonna give you the summary. But basically, we are in a futuristic version of the United States, and it's kind of, like, weird, because the United States is buried. It's, like, not really talked about and kind of hidden in the society. We are set with two main characters. I have a lot of, like, dual perspective books in this video. One's name is Day, and one's name is June. June is like this elite prodigy in this world. She is the only person to get a perfect score on like tests and like trials that each kid has to go through when they grow up. And she is with her brother. She's being kind of like raised by her brother because her parents are dead. When her brother gets killed and the prime suspect is Day, which is our second character. And Day, also known as Devin, is kind of like living a life of like crime and like stuff against the Republic because he failed his trial and he's um, kind of got sent to his death. He survived barely and he's living on the streets and trying to get food and live and then also try to attack like the Republic because he, you know, he doesn't like them. So he, um, is becomes the prime suspect for the murder of Matthias. But yeah, basically they, there becomes like a cat and mouse game between them as Day or is being hunted down by June. The two meet up and what they learn together is gonna shock the whole dynamic. Dynan dynamic. <laughs> like, oh my gosh, I'm not gonna say any of my thoughts about this books. But this is another book I can talk about for hours. Like, it is so... There's just so many thoughts. I'm not gonna say anything, but just shocks, revelations, and a hidden world underneath the surface. I mentioned earlier that I had another arc on the way, and that is Nine of Swords by Brooklyn Quintana in Oh My 
freaking god, I could scream. I'm so excited for this book. The author reached out to me and I was like so happy because the book sounded so good. It was like, basically, I'll just read it to you. Welcome to the Morancy Academy of Military Arts. As one of our students, we expect that you will fight till the end and win by any means necessary. Now that you're here, there are a few things you should be made aware of. Firstly, be mindful of the wet water's edge. The mermaids are not always to be trusted and the dolphins are quite unreliable. Second, try not to get lost in the catacombs. Should you wander too far, your safety cannot be guaranteed. And remember, be wary of the jungle. The trees like to rearrange themselves and do steer clear of the vines, lest you not return from your venture intact or even alive. So basically, I just thought like these three rules, like this kind of like mysterious school with like academy for this like military students. Like I thought this was so intriguing to me and I'm so, so excited to read it. This is another book I think coming out in early March. Uh, but yeah, I'll have this book. I probably, this is my plan. I'm gonna have a reading vlog where I read these two books in a certain amount of time and it's gonna be like an arc reading vlog, which is so exciting. I cannot believe that I get to read this early. And it's such a big chunk of, like it's what, 700 pages? 700 pages, and then with the small text, I'm so excited to like dive into like a huge adventure. I was not aware that this was this long. Like. I did not know. So when this came, I was like, wow, this is a thick book. <laughs> Another book on my TBR is Macbeth by Shakespeare. This is a book that I can show you guys. The other cover was so graphic. I don't know why, but I'm so excited to be reading this because I've heard about Macbeth. I'm just excited because it seems like a really cool book. Basically, the concept is that we're set like with these three witches in the first scene and they like kind of prophesize that Macbeth, which is the main character, that he will become the Thane of Glador, the Thane of like Candace or something, and then the king. So basically when Macbeth overhears these prophecies, he's like, I wanna be the king? What do you mean? And it kind of stirs these murderous thoughts within inside him and his wife. And so they think that they have to kill the king to get the king spot and so basically it's like weird it really explores like prophecy and mortality and gender roles like there's just a lot of really cool things about this book and i am like on act two right now and by the way this is for school but like i always get excited about the school books for some reason and i've just been really enjoying it i have to read like the no fear shakespeare translation because i just wouldn't be able to understand it without it but like it's been really interesting like delving into the characters and it's like something that like i could write about and like when we have to do like little writing prompts or assignments for this book like I enjoy it and it's not too hard for me so that's all that's all I need to say I'm just excited to be reading Macbeth Yay. All right, so the next book that I'm gonna be reading is The Deceiver's Heart by Jennifer A. Nielsen, which is the third book in the uh, Trader's Game trilogy. And I'm excited for this one. I didn't really like the first book too, too much, but I am kind of invested in the story and I do wanna know what happens. But it's kind of set in this world. Oh, the sun just came out and then it just went back out. What? It was like, ooh, ooh. <laughs> it was like, come in for a second, then out for a second. Uh, but this story is kind of interesting. There's like this, these Endrians and then like, there's like different, like kind of groups of people and there's like the banished ones like the Haldarians and there's the Cawdors and like there's different like people and then like in the story there's all these kind of twists like with biological like relative like and there are people like that are secretly in this race or this group and like it just it's like a weird story that i'm enjoying and the, the main goal i guess is trying to defeat the evil lord endrick who is immortal and he's using his like wrath on the people we're set with this girl that was raised in like the good world but she's kind of realizing that she's first of all not really a part of the first world or like the good world good society and that she kind of starts to see the flaws in it like she starts to see the poverty and all that and so she's trying to like better the world that's my best explanation of it again it's not too memorable so like i don't even know the girl's name oh it's kestra <laughs> it's kestra i remember now and some stuff happened at the end of the first book that i'm excited to explore so yeah just not like the most memorable series but i still want to continue next up is like a huge if i don't know if i'm gonna be able to like get it or buy i'm gonna try to buy it and if it doesn't come on like my libby app i i pull i put it on hold but i don't know if it's gonna be coming because it says like 12 or 10 weeks or something i'm gonna try to buy it but if not i just i don't have to participate it but it's in the next chapter book club's book of the month which is the poppy war by R. F. Kwong. I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that. And this is an Asian inspired fantasy series. I really, really want to read it. So I hope I'm able to get my hands on it. But again, I just don't know. So this is like a tentative book on my TBR. Next up, we've got Bloodleaf by Crystal Smith. And I've talked about this a bunch of times. So I'm going to make this really short. I just didn't have time to read it last month, but I'm going to quickly get into this book after I finish Emergency Contact by Mary, or no, this is, yeah, this is Mary H.K. Choi. And this is how much I have have left. I only have this little sliver 
this little sliver left. Anyways, I'm gonna be reading this afterwards, and it is basically a story of a girl named Aurelia who has magic in a world that magic is forbidden. That's basically the premise of it. Um, she gets kicked out of her land because she has magic to avoid the witch hunters and all that stuff, and then she has to try to plot against the witch hunters in the new country that she's seeking refuge in. It's gonna be interesting, I'm really excited, and game on. I'm so excited. Yeah. <laughs> that was the most un unenthusiastic. <laughs> <sighs> and then finally just tentative like more tentative books that i'm just kind of like you know kind of it's a maybe like i'm not sure i'm gonna see how the month guides me you know what i mean akatar i might pick up the akatar series again what if i'm too stressed i'm just like i don't want to reread the series again i'm just not going to but i really do hope i can get to the rest of the akatar series there's four books in there and i'm going to reread them because i have read it once and it was so stunning so i want to read the akatar series again so yeah this is a definite tentative what do I say? A tentative read. I'm gonna try my best to get to these. And then some other audiobooks. I don't really have a huge structured audiobook TBR because I know that my audiobook reading is very like mood reading, but I'm going to try to read one more of the legend books. It depends on like when they come. So that's why like audiobooks are so like tentative because like I don't know when they're gonna be able to be delivered to me. But I want to keep reading the Trader's Game trilogy and the Legend series by Mary Lou. And if I can't do that, I'll pick up another book or so. But yeah, that's basically my TBR. We did it. <laughs> we wrapped up all these books. I have books all scattered around me. <laughs> so that wraps up this TBR video. I wouldn't say this is as ambitious as my last month because if you think about it like uh, the book's lengths are so much shorter than what i was reading last month i was like reading these thick books like last month but now i'm reading like 400 this might even be like 300 pages we've got a 400 page macbeth is so simple i mean we do have like a 700 page book but most of the books that i'm reading are gonna be shorter so that's gonna be a definite plus and i'm excited to see what i do get to read because like it's gonna be it's gonna be great i'm excited so yeah if you guys enjoyed this video and are excited to see what i'm able to read make sure to leave a like really really appreciate y'all make sure to subscribe down below i always appreciate everyone who's subscribe to my content it's like a huge milestone for me to have you with me and um leave a comment down below with what you're reading oh the sun's coming back in i feel like i always try to outro my videos and then the sun comes in <laughs> anyways um thank you guys so much for watching have a great rest of your day i will see you guys in the next video i'll leave the last video up there make sure to subscribe like i'm getting totally blown out by the sun but um yeah see you later guys um he only throws a knife at the Oh, I shouldn't say that. <laughs> Anyways, I mentioned... Oh, wait. <laughs>